All right, welcome to King Sprayer, Sprayer Depot headquarters, Orlando, Florida. Uh, today we're going to look at a flatbed multi-tank skid. Um, we build anything from 15 gallon to 1,000 gallon. Uh, we put sprayers in boats, El Caminos. Uh, we like a challenge, so if you don't see something on our website, call us, we'll get you a custom quote. Try to make it fit your needs. Um, this flatbed in particular is for a landscaping company up in Maryland. Um, they had a, a special need for four tanks, two different pump engines, two different reels. Um, this allows multiple applicators at the same time, get things done faster. As you know, time's money. Um, so if you look at the layout, it's going to look like a lot of components. Uh, you have double pump engines, double reels, four tanks. I'm going to kind of go over with you how this, this is set up. Um, first, you got your two pump engines. You'll see Honda engines. Try to use Honda engines. There is a shortage. Could be issues in the future, so if you need a rig, you might as well order it now, order ahead of time. Uh, the first pump is a 21 gallon per minute diaphragm pump from Hypro AR. It's their 813. Uh, max flow 21, max pressure 725. It's powered by a GX390 electric start engine. Uh, you have your key start and you also have your recoil start. The pump is attached by a gear reduction so it's one unit. No belt, no pulley. A lot easier, nothing else breaks. You don't have to reset belts. Lower maintenance. Uh, your second, this is a 240, so it's an 8 horse electric Honda and it's coupled to an AR Hypro 50. Uh, this is a 15 gallon per minute pump, 580 for max pressure. Any of this is customizable. Different pump, different flow rate, different pressure. We can change that. So you got a 13 horse, 21 gallon, 725 for max pressure. You got an 8 horse, 15 gallon, 580 for pressure. Big tank in the back is a 300 gallon. This is a 200 gallon. The two smaller tanks are 250 gallons. The 300 and 200 are run off the bigger pump. The 50s are run off the smaller pump. And when you come over to the side here, whenever we build a sprayer, what we try to do is make it better for the operator. We're doing it with the operator in mind. And this is your passenger side. You don't really want any of your other components on the driver's side. If you're on a busy road, people driving by, you're messing with your regulator, you're messing with your valves, you could get hit by a car. So we want everything on this side. So when you get out of your truck, you go ahead and you start your engines, you can immediately come over here, and this is where all, everything you need is going to be located. So you got your filter, you need to shut off the flow, clean it out from debris. You got your regulator for the small pump, your regulator for the big pump. And then you have your valve bank to control what tanks you're using. Uh, so we can go over a little bit of this layout. We'll look at the 250s first. Depending on your state, depending on regulations, you may need an air gap. On the smaller tanks, we're using a metal one with female garden hose. You can fill through with a regular garden hose fitting and it swivels for ease of use. You'll notice there's big numbers on each tank. So you got tank one and tank two. And on your valve bank, you have stickers. So you have your agitation, your bypass, and your suction. You'll notice they're all in the down position. There's a number two here. So when all those valves are number two, you're pulling from tank two, so you're pulling from water tank two into the pump and through your regulator. You're also agitating to tank two. So if you have something to mix, you're going into tank two. You're also bypassing to tank two. So there's no cross-contamination there. Uh, say you had chemical in tank two, you want to move to tank one. You can leave your suction on tank two, so you're pulling from tank two. Move these valves to position one. It shows you on the sticker, but at that point, you're pulling your liquid from tank two, and you're agitating and bypassing into tank one. It'll go through your system, back into that tank. You can do any combination of these valves. Just going to put them back down here. The stickers help you, but also the position of the valve. If they're all up, that's one. If they're all down, that's two. Uh, one thing we always have is bypass. Bypass is very important on diaphragm pumps. Uh, they're a positive displacement pump. That excess flow and pressure has somewhere to go. If you ever have a piece of spray equipment with that pump and there's a bypass line going towards the bottom or there's a valve on it, you want to fix that right away. So you're coming through your pressure regulator Here's your bypass line. You'll see no valve. You cannot shut that off. So it's always going to go to tank two or tank one. 
Your agitation line, on the other hand, you can shut that off. If we go ahead and close that valve, you're not agitating. That's going to allow more flow and pressure to your gun. If you open this wide open when you're spraying, you're going to lose a lot of flow and pressure. It's going to feel like a garden hose. Um, you can leave it cracked, open, whatever you need to do to mix it. If you have something that needs constant agitation, uh, you have a, a fertilizer, a urea, something that needs that constant mix, you'll probably want that open and you'll want to size that pump appropriately. Um, and each tank is set up the same way. So you'll see on the bigger tanks, you got a big number one and a big number two. Then you have a different pressure regulator as well. And if you have questions on regulators, how to use them, operate them, call us, we can help you with that. This one operates a little bit differently. This is your bypass lever. Up, down, turns it back to bypass. This is your pressure adjustment. The more you screw it in, the more pressure you get. When you back it off, you get less. Uh, kind of think of it like your thumb over the end of a hose. When you make that hole smaller, you're going to get more pressure. Same thing with the pressure regulator. Uh, the spring's going to compress, your diaphragm, your poppet, your seat, it's all pushing down to create that higher pressure rating. Uh, you can modify the pressure by opening up your agitation, your other lines, maybe multiple guns, uh, but everything has a pressure gauge, there's always a bypass, there's always an agitation line. Each tank has a separate valve bank. So your big one and two, it also has a different fill gap. Now this is a poly, this is a custom one we make. An air gap in Maryland is required, so for this customer, we don't want them getting in trouble, so we went ahead and put it on here for them. Another aspect is they can fill. Right here, you have a banjo cam lever fitting, you got your male plug. If they're filling from a different source, you can put your coupler right on, goes right in the top of the tank. Same type of valve bank, same stickers, agitation, bypass, suction. All the same thing, just bigger tanks, bigger pump, bigger regulator. Um, everything is set up so you can't damage the system. The bypass line is not closed. I know I keep saying that, but we've seen sprayers where the bypass line is closed, pushes back on your pump, ruptures your diaphragms. Um, big thing with that too, when you're done spraying, always put this back in bypass mode. So pressure, bypass, pressure, bypass. You always want to do that. Um, that kind of covers the three-way plumbing in the different tank sizes. Suction, agitation, bypass. Suction, agitation, bypass. Same thing. You'll notice the theme that a lot of these pumps are the same, just bigger and smaller, different size hoses, different regulators, and we base that off what your application is. Are you spraying trees? How tall are they? This is what you need. Are you doing landscaping? How big is the tank? How many agitators do you need? Uh, so we're going to take what you're doing and we're going to custom tailor the solution to you. Um, one other aspect on this rig that we don't do a lot, uh, but this was something the customer wanted. So the big tank, big pumps, they wanted to be able to use both reels so they can have two guys spraying at the same time. So if you look at the plumbing, it's kind of hard to see, but you have one line going into this reel and you have a three-way valve here. So with this three-way valve, depending how you turn it, you're going to come from that one or you're going to come from this line over here. So the smaller pump only has one. You can use the bottom reel, but the bigger pump you can use both at the same time. That's going to save you time, it's going to be more efficient. Those are little customizations that we'll do for you that a lot of companies won't, or the big box stores, you go to Northern, wherever, you can't customize anything. At King Sprayers, we love a challenge. Uh, we, have, we build over, I'd say, six to 700 different combinations a year. Uh, sometimes production wants to strangle the sales guys, and I get it, uh, but we're trying, to, we're trying to build something that you can use you can make money off of, you can have a product that you can feed your family, your employees, everybody stays in business. Um, hose reels, I forgot to go over these. Uh, hose reels are a tough find right now. Uh, these are actually King's reels. Uh, we manufacture these in Orlando, Florida. Um, these are also the King's guides. Uh, they're fully enclosed, so you can pull it left, right, they all roll. A lot of other ones, they just have your top bars that don't roll, they're kind of fixed, and you can go left and right. Ours, you can do anything. Um, these are aluminum reels. They have stainless steel swivels and a stainless steel hub assembly. That's max corrosion resistance. If you're doing landscaping, uh, if you're doing pressure washing, soft washing, uh, anything corrosive, uh, that's the best you can do. Put some stainless through it, everything's gonna last longer. Because changing out this pipe 
If you have to change this out, you got to take apart the whole reel. Pipe isn't expensive, but your time and labor, it's not fun to do. Um, so you got your push button, your solenoid, your 12 volt motor. You need a power source for these. This is going to be wired to the customer's vehicle. Uh, another thing we added here, shut off valve before your quick disconnects. This way you can shut off the flow. If you need to change out your gun, you're not going to get sprayed in the face. So you got your, your shut off valve. Another thing we use, these are Foster reusable two-piece fittings. You'll notice no clamp. We don't want clamps on the hose to cut your hand, slice your hose. So you got a Foster fitting, ball valve, and then your Foster quick disconnects. And these are 18 inch electric reels, 300 foot a half, each with a JD9 type spray gun. Uh, we have other gun options. All this, I'm probably sound like a broken record, but it's all customizable. You'll notice the channel on these tanks. It's three and a half, three and a half inch channel. Because if you use smaller channel, you aren't able to get a bulkhead and a full drain under there. So if you want to drain this tank, it's really hard to do. So we used a three and a half, and then we put a full drain fitting, some extra hose and a ball valve. This way you can drain your hose, you can drain your tank off of the platform. And every tank is like that. If you use a two inch channel, there's no way to get a bulkhead and elbow under there, so you're stuck trying to get all the water out of the tank a different way. If you're using the pump to do it, you can get down to a couple gallons. You could use a shop vac, uh, but we, again, we want to make everything as easy as possible on the operator. So each one of these tanks has their own drain. So when you're looking at this rig, this was a custom layout. Customer actually flew down here. We went over everything. We wanted to make sure it's exactly how he wanted it. So you got your two pumps, your two Honda engine electric start, you got your dual electric reels with your King's guides, your King's reels, your stainless steel internals, 300 feet of half inch hose. It's also King's hose as well. You got your filters accessible over here to clean. You got your valve banks over here. You got your regulators, you got your fill pipes. Everything is built, tested, ready to go. Only thing this customer is gonna have to do when he gets it, he's gonna wire his engines, he's gonna wire his reels to his power source, and he's gonna be off and he's gonna be making money. You got your forklift pockets running all the way under, your runner's going there, so when you have to lift it, move it, easily accessible, if that's not there, I don't know how you can move this thing. And I can tell you this is very hard, very hard to move in a safe manner. But like I said, we're manufacturer Orlando, Florida, uh, 15 gallon to 1,000 gallon. Uh, we sell all the parts and components. Uh, we have technical people that can, you can help, call you, we'll run you through anything. Uh, aluminum frames, five year warranty, you know, your Honda engine three-year warranty, uh, your tanks are a five-year warranty. Um, we filled the tank up to the seam right here during the testing process. So if it leaks, we catch it before it goes, we'll replace it, send it out. So our, our quality assurance is a big thing we do. We build it, we test it, pressure it up. If anything's wrong, we fix it, then it goes into the crating process. Uh, most of our sprayers ship from Orlando, Florida. Uh, we do have five different shipping points. Uh, we're currently in Orlando. Uh, we're also shipping out of Pennsylvania, Kansas, Texas, and Utah. Uh, we also have plans. We're going to have two more locations in the near future. Uh, we're looking at another one near the southeast. We're looking out west. Uh, our, our big goal is to have two-day, one-day fulfillment throughout the U.S. Uh, we know time is money. Uh, we don't want you sitting around five days for a product. We want it to you fast. Sprayers, longer lead time but we're going to do whatever we can to get them out as fast as possible and build them exactly how you want it. Um, if you want a custom quote, visit SprayerDepot.com. You can email sales, sales at SprayerDepot.com. Uh, call us at 800-228-0905 and push option two for sprayers. Uh, you can reach us on social media. Um, however you want to get to us, uh, we're available. Uh, thanks for watching the video.